Hello everybody, I'm here to go over the Kappa styled house that I built here today, here in Alpha 16. Since the release of Alpha 17 will be coming relatively soon, I thought I would re-familiarize myself with the game. I decided to build a cabin styled house since I was flying around in Navis game and I saw these cabins and I got inspired. I was also inspired by Cap and Glock 9's renovation challenges and house flipper series suit. Shout out to them. This was the first house that I built. I like building tiny houses, but this one was unfortunately too small. A lot of the features of this house is carried over to the final design of the house. Let's take a cursory look on the inside. When we go in through the door, there are two sets of doors. One for the outside to zombie proof it, and one on the inside, the original set of doors. Unfortunately, one of the doors has to be missing here, because both of them swing out in the same direction. You'll see what I mean once we get to the cellar on the final design of the house. Here is the living room, the kitchen, and the dining area. It really is quite small. The fridge is over here since there really was no space to put it next to the other kitchen appliances. So yeah, here's the dining table, with a duffel bag, the trash can, and the fireplace. Here's the sink with the large window behind it. I'm sure a lot of people have one of these. It's actually quite large, but the uh, I like the window. I like the curtains covering the windows. Here's the ladders upstairs. I was originally going to have a set of loft stairs, but there really wasn't enough room. We'll see that in the final design. Here's the bathroom. Not much to see here. There's a window, but it's covered up with curtains. Don't want people seeing you pee. The other side is the bedroom. It's a king size bed which fits perfectly and not a lot of space for much else. This door leads to the balcony. You can sit in the chair and enjoy the view. Not much to see here. Let's move on to the final design of the house. This was one of the pre built designs I was inspired by, and this is the final version of the house. Yep, let's we'll start from the bottom up. Here's the cellar. The cellar doors are kind of messed up because they only open one way and if you try to rotate them, they mess up really bad. If you flip the doors horizontally, they get some weird quirks to them. I don't use the door frames and patch it up because when they're placed on the side of the block, the doors are centered. So yeah. And I can't patch them up with the window boards because they kind of just float above them and look weird. Yeah, I guess it's just something we have to live with. Nothing much down here, she's just a chemistry station and a cooler. We could do a little farming down here if need be. Here's the mushrooms. Let's head back up. Going through the front door, the setup is much the same as the old design. We enter into the larger living area this time with the kitchen area and dining area mostly on the left here, and the workbench is on the right. The kitchen is much the same as the old design, including the large window in the back. Here's the oven with the range hood, and here's the dining area next to the fireplace. What I love about the fireplace is that there's a usable forge in the back. I had to use some clever use of corrugated metal sheets to get them to fit. So some of them kind of sticks out, but that's okay. In through this door is the bathroom. You can use the toilet in here. And unfortunately I cannot find space to put a sink. I guess you just have to use the sink outside in the kitchen to wash your hands. On the outside of the house, there's piping that goes to the toilets for some continuity. They're called conduits in the creative menu, but I think they look more like plumbing to me. Going upstairs, here's a set of lost stairs that I was talking about earlier. 
as we go up, here's the office area. Going around back, here's the greenhouse. I wish you should add more one more than one type of pot of plants, but from my understanding, they're adding a lot of stuff like paintings. Right now we only have two paintings, but that will change soon. The greenhouse is why the glass is like this. I had to use some creative use of the poles from the chain link fence because they're exactly in the middle. That's what I love about them, they're not offset. Heading back inside, here's the couch you can sit on to uh, watch TV. On the right, we have storage. Here's the gun safe for your guns and the file cabinet for your books. The king size bed is also here. It fits too perfectly not to put in. This door leads to the balcony. Much the same design as the previous house, you can climb on the roof to service the solar panels. If we go in, you can see the solar panels are connected to the lights on the inside. I think it looks a lot better with lights on. Honestly, very homely with that exposed brick. Here's a little quirk. You can see the gaps on these blocks. Since they're not actually full blocks, this is what's supporting up the solar panels. Just one of those things that comes with living in small spaces. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the house tour. I love to build small, and as you can see, it's basically half the size of a pre-built house. I hope I have inspired you to build small as we all wait for the release of Alpha 17. Thank you.